A Lubbock family is honoring their son and brother's legacy, encouraging others to live like Hunter. Rope student, 18-year-old Hunter Mayhall, died in a crash during last week's ice storm while on his way to school. KCBD News Channel 11's Brittany Michelson spoke with his family about what it means to follow in Hunter's footsteps. Brittany. Well, Karen and Abner, since that crash, the Mayhall family has seen an outpouring of support from ropes and the surrounding communities. That's looked like a lot of green at basketball games, the Jones and the USA. After learning more about Hunter today and his impact, I can see why. I knew the type of heart that my son had, but I did not realize how... The reach yeah. that it made. It's something Jared and Mandy Mayhall never imagined they would realize this way. But hearing the mark their son Hunter left on friends and even strangers has been one of their biggest blessings since losing him last week. He wanted you to smile. He wanted you to laugh. He wanted you to feel good. 18-year-old Hunter Mayhall was a football player and a power lifter, his big sister's biggest protector. Sienna says he told the cheesiest dad jokes, laughing before he got to the punchline. He actually accidentally put me through the wall <laughs> back in the hallway. There's this big old hole. It's covered up now, but we were just play fighting. So. We both ended up getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah, and they watched me fix it. His dad says Hunter was always more concerned about others than himself and his football team's hype man. His teammates came to their home to share his impact. You know, even on some of their worst days, he made that day just great. You know, just make them laugh or just let them know that the day wasn't as bad as they thought it was. His family has some things to remember Hunter by, like a chair he'd recently built and one of his school projects. He was going to turn it in the day of the wreck. His friend who was driving went to the crash scene and pieced it back together turning it in to Hunter's teacher before bringing it back to Hunter's family. That meant, that meant a lot. Jared said one friend told him God has a plan for everyone from the time they're born, but some people fulfill that plan quicker than others would like. I think Hunter's heart was so big. That he fulfilled it in 18 years. And God called him home. Now they have to carry on his legacy and live like Hunter. And that is what I am going to spend every day of the rest of my life doing, is live the way that he did. Live with the heart that he had. And along with the kind words from everyone, the family wanted to express their thanks for everyone's financial support, raising more than $27,000 to help them get through this. His mom says Hunter's friend, who was in the truck with him at the time of the crash, needs all of those supporters now to send some prayers his way. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Brittany.